Hello everyone, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT Faculty at Insights. I welcome you once again for the CSAT series, question of the day, 23. This question is, if one star equals four circles and three circles equal four diamonds, then what is the ratio of star is to diamond? Okay, as the question itself explicitly indicates, this is from ratio. If one star equals four circles, see, I am writing whatever given in the data itself. I am extracting the data and structuring it. One star is equal to four circles. See, one star is equal to four circles or else if I write like this, star by circles is equal to four by one, right? Ratio can be written in the form of A is to B or else A by B. That's one and the same. So this is nothing but what? Star is 4 and circle is 1. The ratio of star is 2. Circle is 4 is to 1. Okay. Similarly now, the next part of the data says, Three circles equals four diamonds. Three circles equals four diamonds. So can I write the circle is four and the diamond is three similarly? Okay. Circle by diamond is equal to four by three or else see circle is to diamond is in the ratio circle is four, diamond is three. Isn't it or not? You know how to equate the ratio. We have learned this one in the previous videos also. Whatever which is here, just write in front of it. Okay. The blank space filled by the same numerical which is in front of it. Here, 4 is here. Hence, 4. So, 4 into 4, 16. 1 into 4, 4. 1 into 3, 3. So, the ratio of star, circle and diamond is 16 is to 4 is to 3. But the question is here, star is to diamond, only star is to diamond. Star is 16, diamond is 3. So, star is to diamond is nothing but 16 is to 3. This is our required answer. This is the bouncer of previous video. This question is taken from the topic ranking and order. In this kind of question, the key is to understand the question in a proper manner. If you misunderstand, then maximum number of the time you will make mistake and after making mistake, whatever the mistake, that will be in your option. That is the problem in this kind of questions. Okay, because positioning, even if you change, if you misinterpret one position also, you'll end up making mistake. Now, look here. In a class of 80 students, the number of boys is one-fourth that of girls. Number of boys is one-fourth that of girls. This is nothing but, again, ratio itself. The concept here is ratio. The topic is ranking and order, but we'll make use of the ratio here also. Because the number of boys is equal to one-fourth of girls, okay? Or else, boys and girls, can I write the ratio as, see, boys is one, girls is four, so one is to four. For every one boy, four girls are there, okay? 80 students are there. If you divide 80 students in the ratio, one is to four, means if you divide it into five parts, Totally one part, four parts, five parts. One part's value will be equal to 16. Okay. So 16 boys are there. Remaining are girls. That is 64 girls are there. Okay. 16 boys, 64 girls. Okay. See, some of them will misinterpret this as one-fourth of the total number. This is not the one-fourth of the total number. This is one-fourth that of the girls here. One-fourth of the to total number becomes one-fourth of 80 is nothing but 20. Okay, do not confuse with one fourth of the total and one fourth of the girls. Here, one fourth of the girls here it is. If Neha's position is 58 from the top, okay, look here in this row. This is Neha. She is 58 
from this direction from the top okay and seven boys ahead of neha see if neha is 58 from the top there will be 57th people before neha to the top okay 57 among them seven or boys okay and seven boys ahead of neha means ahead means towards the top only seven boys means 50 girls will be there so totally it becomes 57 so neha will be 51st girl isn't it neha will be 51st girl then find the number of girls after neha totally 64 girls are there when i start counting from the top 1 2 3 4 up to neha including neha 51 girls are there if including Neha, 51 girls are there out of 64, the remaining number girls, number of girls after Neha, 13. So the answer is 13. This is the bouncer of the day. Try to solve this question and put the answers in the comment section, guys. Thank you. See you in the next video.